wow, the Batman, or is it just Batman? The cowering lady saved by Batman was Selina Kyle, lowly secretary to Max Shrek, the po most powerful businessman in Gotham City. A mysterious creature known only as the Penguin has been spotted in Gotham's sewers. He allies with Max Shrek to destroy the mayor's reputation, allowing himself to become the new mayor of Gotham City. Burn, baby, burn! Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> Scene 2 Battle in the Streets of Gotham City. And with that, welcome everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play Batman Returns. I am your host, Mr. ESP Knows the X. And last episode, the Red Triangle Gang were attacking Gotham City. And Batman saved the day. Now we're going to attack more clowns. So let's get this started. And I think that's the whole point. So I like A lot of people are like afraid of clowns. Like I know my girlfriend and my sister are afraid of clowns. But I think this game itself is like for people who are afraid of clowns. We just want to beat them up, you know. And why not? You're be you're Batman beating up clowns. You know what I mean? So yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. Um, I forgot to point this out last episode, but yes, this was this shows that I guess how Selena Kyle became Catwoman. Pretty much, uh, Max Shrek pushed her down the ledge in the movie, and then. Once she was in the, once she was just laying flat on the ground, like a bunch of cats just started chewing on her finger net, fingers, started licking her, and she just became crazy. Came back home, started destroying stuff, and then she made her own suit. So yeah, that's pretty much how she became Catwoman. So yeah. Oh my God, I really hate these fat clowns. They're like, I don't know. Yeah, they do a lot of just like just body slamming. It's like, oh my God. But yeah, I try my best to block as possible. So yeah, and also there's a special move, um, which I'll show later in the episode. I don't really use it that much because if you do use it, if you hit an enemy, then you lose a life. It's pretty much like I said. I pointed out before in the last episode. This is like a Capcom beat 'em up, and if you ever play Final Fight, then whenever you use special move, you lose a health. You lose part of partial of part of your health. Not mean like all of your health. I mean just part of it. Just maybe like a little bit. But yeah, if you just hit your special move. And these things called the bat test tube. They're pretty much uh, like a bomb. And pretty much it just explodes the whole screen. And like all the enemies are defeated. But I don't use them because I only use them for like the boss battles. So yeah. <clears throat> We're introduced to these new guys. These uh, Native Americans who throw knives. So yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, <clears throat> sorry. I, have a, yeah. I was sick earlier. I was supposed to go to work today. I wanted to. I was gonna do this after I got out of work, but I don't know. I guess I ate something. I just threw up, so I wasn't able to go to work today. <laughs> I love how they did that. Just threw a battery and him just dropped the bomb and boom, explode yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see other these clowns right here who just hold the bomb, and you really have to watch out as you can see the the bombs flash that means they're about to explode so be careful with that and the easy and to defeat those uh, biker dudes pretty much just throw a battering at them just go to the right spot so yeah and then we're introduced to these clowns who are just juggling um, these things I think they throw them I don't really know it's been a while since I played this game even I even did this on my on my old channel so yeah, like I'll do, like I will do a lot of uh, LPs that I've done on my previous channel, but other than that, I'll try my best to do somewhat new LPs. And yes, yeah, so you can see how the state was loaded. To be honest, this game is really hard, people. It's, these types of beat em, these types of beat em ups are like really hard. They're kind of have that arcade style. So sorry if like you know if I offend anybody with a safe state or a low state, but you know it's really hard. So you know even the bosses are ridiculously hard. I mean the first one you thought that the first one wasn't really that hard, but 
throughout the throughout the game, you know, there's gonna be some really, really hard boss battles, and you'll see why. And and there are in this segment, there are segments where you just beat up somebody, and there's a segment where you just throw battering. I don't know the purpose of that. I don't really know. And to yeah, and then the whole thing's on fire. The best way to get out of there is use your back grapple. Um, how did I use the? I don't remember. Uh, I'll tell you guys next episode when I know for sure. But yeah, <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm trying my best to like defeat the clown that the the tall uh, Uncle Sam guy who's throwing those uh, fire torches. The best way is just to jump and throw batterings at him. Yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to get away. Yeah, you see, it's Uncle Sam dude right here. And yeah, you just gotta throw a battering at him, and there you go. <clears throat> and I think I go through the next part. Yes, I do. And as you can see, yeah, in the movie, um, the Penguin and Mac Trek, you know, help out each other. Because Max Shrek wants, like, a mayor to, like, ruin Gotham City. And he chose the Penguin to do so. And pretty much not only that, just ruined the reputation of the current mayor. So, yeah. And we're intro introduced to these new enemies that are holding swords. Eh, they're really not that hard. Uh, just these fat dude, these fat clowns. And as you can see, that was the cake twirl. That's the special move. For this game, and it's pretty much like the cape twirl from uh, the Arkham series. This is pretty much just like Arkham series, except for the Super Nintendo. And to point out, back in the 90s, it wasn't a great year for um, games based off uh, comic books. There was like so many horrible Superman um, titles. The ones I could recall that were like good was this one. There exists a, li a lot of good Batman games, by the way. Um, I guess Batman gets the more praise than any other superhero when it comes to video games. Because there still hasn't been a good Superman game. Not pointing out the Lego game, that was actually a Batman game. Because the title said Lego Batman, Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman 3, that's coming out. It's not a, it's not a Superman game. So yeah, there really isn't that good of a Superman game. Pointing out to Superman 64. That's an example of a horrible one. But the ones I could point out was this game, uh, Spider Man, A Maximum Carnage, um, and I think it was the Batman animated series. The game based off the animated series. I think that one. I haven't played I heard it was good though. So I think I might try it out someday. But yeah. <clears throat> but I'm not saying that there wasn't. Like, the games based off comic books are bad. There are a lot of good uh, games based off comic books. Like, Spider-Man 2, the movie video game. Um, the Arkham series, of course. Um, which is, like, literally... The Arkham series, it's what made Batman. It's like... It's... What made it paved the way for superhero um, games pretty much it's just a good example of what a batman game should be so yeah but you will see i will lp uh the batman series sometime in the future when i do get a capture card but other than that um our, i heard that ps4 is going to have a, a share option for to link a video to youtube which is pretty interesting so Stay tuned for that. I hope they do it pretty soon because I've been itching to try it myself. So I don't know when it's. Well, I don't know when they're gonna update uh, the PS4 for that. But yeah, here is the boss of this level, the strong man. This guy is huge, and be careful with him because he quite packs a punch, as you can see right there. But yeah, I I do die. I do uh, die in this part, but um. And if you do die, and if you do get a game over, which I will get a game over right here, right now just using my cave tour, which is a big mistake, um, yeah, I got a game over here, 
And this is our game over screen, with Catwoman just looking seductively. But yeah, as you can see, I just... Because if you do get a game over, then you restart to the level where you are. That pretty much like a checkpoint, the, which is the third part in this level. Yeah, they restarted me all the way back to the beginning of the third part, which uh, I'm at right now. So yeah, and this time I do defeat them, just making sure. What was I talking about again? I think the Arkham series. But yeah, it paved way for, you know, any uh, superhero games. You know, it, it's, with his, it's an example of what a Batman game should be. He's a detective, he's a gadget guru, he's a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff. It's just amazing. I hope everyone agrees with me, like, you know. And uh, I just can't wait for Arkham Knight. It's going to be really good. And... That's the only reason why I bought a PS3 because of Arkham Knight, because they don't have it for uh, they don't have it for current, they don't have it for Xbox 360 or PS3. They just have it for the PS4 and Xbox One. I don't know why they called it Xbox One. It's pretty much just going back. Why not call it Xbox 720 or whatever? But yeah, I grew up a huge Batman fan. You know, I've been a fan since you know the day I was born. There was a baby picture of me like with my Batman blanket so yeah and I'll talk more about that next episode as you can see I defeated the strong man scene two clear woo all right <clears throat> Batman's triumphant victory over the red triangle circus gang is short-lived as the penguin appears to taunt Batman You're not the mayor. Things change. You don't really think you'll win, do you? Things change. Meow. After destroying Shrek's department store, Catwoman escapes to the safety of a nearby Kaboosh! And that's pretty much the scene where I guess Catwoman, you know, breaks into Shrek's department store and I don't know what she placed on the microwave. She places something on the microwave and it explodes and it explodes the whole store. So that's why it just flashed like that. So, yeah. So thank you everyone and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This has been Mr. ESPNOZA X saying good night or good day depending what time you're watching this video. And stay tuned for more Let's Play Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo. Good night, everyone.